Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is going to be on one of the corals, as I mentioned before, that I would talk individually on each of the new acquisitions that I got. Today we're going to start with the Mummy's Eye Chalice. It's a high-end chalice and I'm going to talk about the care tips of it and things that you should know about it. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into it. Okay, and this is what I found out when it comes to the Mummy Eye Chalice. First of all, Upmost is an LPS coral. Of course, for those of you who don't know, it stands for Large Polyp Stony Corals. I also found out that when it comes to chalices in general, they actually belong uh, to 10 different types of genera. So when it comes to chalices, they can fall into different types of genera, being, of course, chalice. Now, when it comes to this type of chalice, I also found out that high-end chalice corals tend to have a fluorescent type of color, like this one that you're, you're observing as we speak. Another thing is that they're found in the Pacific Ocean, mainly the Indonesia, Fiji uh, waters. Now, when it comes to the care requirements, these corals uh, prefer, when it comes to lighting, moderate light uh, with a par value of, I'd say, between 100 150. Now, when it comes to the water parameters, you should pay attention to the DKH and the calcium, knowing that chalice corals prefer high-quality water with very low amounts of nitrates. Uh, when it comes to nitrates, I'd say uh, from 0 0.5 or less of nitrates is what you should have when it comes to water quality and keeping these types of corals. And when it comes to phosphates, I would say close to zero. Now feeding, uh, being and relying on photosynthesis, these corals can be given a variety of foods like frozen foods, pellets, powdered foods like reef roids, which is what I give my whole reef twice a week. And uh, when it comes to me personally feeding, as I mentioned right now, I do feed reef roids. And also, I've been uh, feeding from Reef Nutrition, uh, Phyto Feast. And those two combined, what I do is I feed them uh, every other day. So uh, every other day, I'll feed reef roids, and every other day, I'll feed the uh, Phyto Feast. Matter of fact, today, I fed the uh, Phyto Feast. And then uh, the water flow, when it comes to water flow, they should have moderate flow due to the fact that it's really uh, LPS uh, coral. And then uh, all in all, in a ballpark, when it comes to care level, this coral is considered moderate when it comes to um, keeping one of these chalices because you really have to be on top of it when it comes to the water parameters and where you actually place it. So this is what I found out in a nutshell when it comes to the mummy eye chalice. So now before I close the video, I'm going to show you another coral that I got. And I also got another pin cushion urgent. And I'm going to show you how they're actually cleaning. So hold on one second. So here we are. I went ahead and I decided to get what the, uh, the clough polyps, they're called fireworks. Clough polyps, they're beautiful. As a matter of fact, they look like when fireworks are going. Uh, you can't appreciate too much because uh, right now, you know, they haven't acclimated fully, but the uh, polyps extension, they actually open up more like an umbrella. But I decided to put them right over there. So like when it, when it starts, you know, I, these I did glue. So when it starts to spread, it will actually spread on that rock that you see on the back. Okay, so this section that you see uh, right below the rock anemone, uh, all that is with the new uh, pin cushion has actually cleaned. So this one apparently being a bigger one, it's actually, I guess it has more power to clean. So it's been eating out all that algae. That before, I would have to scrub it with a toothbrush dedicated to the tank. Well, this is the result from the new pin cushion urgent. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting and educational. Uh, next week, I'm thinking of doing a video on another of the corals. 
So what I still have left uh, from the previous purchase that I did, of course, would be the uh, Yellow Submarine and then the uh, Rock Anemone and then now the Fireworks Club Polyps. So I'll see what I'll do, but most probably as you know, people that follow me know that every time I do a purchase, I go ahead and I do some research and I talk about it in the care tips. So I hope you enjoyed the video and like I say at the end, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and by the way, I finally got my hair cut. Until next time, bye-bye.